Exodus 28, there's a very important part there on the Holy Spirit. Exodus 28. Have Aaron your brother be brought to you from among the Israelites along with his sons Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar that they may serve me in the office of priests, in other words, as priests. Make sacred garments for your brother Aaron to give him dignity and honor. He says, tell all the skilled men whom I have downloaded to, in other words, saying Pentecost has already happened before Jesus comes, I've already released the Holy Spirit to some people here before Pentecost. Hey! Uh -huh. Tell all skilled men whom, to, to whom I have given wisdom uh, in such matters that they, are to, that they are to make garments for Aaron for his consecration so that he may serve me as priests. And so these garments, it defines them. And then he talks about now later on the sacred anointing oil. But this is so powerful. Because as he describes this here, he now refers them to some skilled people who have already received from on high. That is powerful. In other words, for those of you who are studying Pentecostalism or revivalism, whatever the theologies call it, this would be a very interesting place to understand really really could this be the place where the dispensation of the grace began you may ask many questions because already the spirit has been poured here now but he's saying that there are some skilled people that the spirit of the lord has been released to already on such matters appertaining to the garments in skillfulness wisdom he says but for us as a church we know that that person with the skill is here is the holy spirit so he's saying you consult him then. But when you look at the church in Namibia here, you realize she is not talking with him. She is not. Because she, you know, because she is not Holy Spirit filled. Let me say that. Because if she was, the only thing the Holy Spirit, okay, the person of the Holy Spirit always sits with me and speaks with me. Oh yes, a tremendous situation. It's a tremendous relationship. He comes sometimes and sits down and speaks. And it's, uh, sometimes when you wake up from there, you almost collapse. Because that's actually God, the Holy Spirit. Excuse me. But he's saying that the Holy Spirit should have visited this church already and filled your hearts. Because when the Holy Spirit comes to you, the only thing he will bring to you is the following. He will reveal to you more and more and more of the holiness of Christ. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh yes. If you had told me you are spirit filled, then you would not be dressing the way you are dressing. Okay, because he will tell you you cannot dress like that. Yes, he will reveal to you the holiness of Christ. If you are a pastor, he will reveal to you that you cannot stand there and give false prophecy. Oh yes. He will reveal to you more and more of the person of Christ. So let us not be confused about this. Some people saying, oh, that kind of thing. Please keep that blasphemy away. The Holy Spirit is real and is helping the church now. And if you had the Holy Spirit, he would tell you, please stop standing here and lying that you are speaking in tongue by then. Stop doing that here. He will tell you not to do it. He will say, read the Bible that they spoke in tongues as they were enabled enabled by the spirit enabled helped excuse me oh yes it's time the church moves back to the truth back to the basics of salvation that's why i came that's why i came oh yes it will help this nation because my words have weight because they are his words no word will drop and never sprout forth in this land wait and see a revival is coming a revival of righteousness is coming because time the kingdom of god is near <laughs>